Let's talk about the role of a wife. At least from the perspective of just sparing him. I'm not getting in the right and wrong. It's none of my business. I don't know about them. I don't want to know. But I know that it is uncomfortable and grotesquely unfair to emasculate your husband publicly. Publicly. He's Will Smith. How much smaller do you want to make him? How much? I mean, damn. Come on, Jada. This is wrong. You can't do this. You can't treat that man like that. It's none of our business. You screwing somebody, that's your business. Your husband ain't getting, his, he ain't getting it done for you. That's your business. He was somebody else. You were somebody else. That's your business. You ain't got to be like that. Especially while you still married to him. Jada Pinkett Smith, that's fucked up. So I saw Stephen A. Smith's frothing out the mouth, unhinged, take down Jada Pinkett Smith. And my first reaction is, are you okay? Do you maybe need to sit down with Ayanla or Dr. Phil and work out some of this anger that you're misdirecting and projecting on Jada Pinkett Smith? Not just you, Stephen A. Smith, but all these out here that's so triggered by jada let me tell you something jada is not the one that hurt you she did not reject you she's not the one who made you feel less than a man y'all got issues of feeling emasculated that's on you that's nothing to do with her she doesn't even know you but the second thing is why the fuck would jada pinkett smith take cues on how to be a wife from a lifelong 56 year old bachelor stephen a smith has never even been married so how the hell is he an authority on how a woman, how a wife should act? And you ain't got nobody to be your wife. You ain't even been a husband. All right, guys. So we got to talk about a little feel-good story here involving Jada Pinkett Smith, who, you know, I've done a few videos about because for the life of me, I really don't understand why Will Smith is still with this very vindictive and narcissistic woman who clearly is trying to humiliate and embarrass her husband for her own personal gain okay in this case she was trying to sell a book now jada pinkett smith went on a tour of interviews in which she told a bunch of embarrassing secrets about her and will smith's personal life you know secrets that weren't already out there like for example her getting her cheeks clapped by another man right and then you know coming to the table with will smith to talk about why she got her cheeks clapped by another man and she came out and she revealed that they wasn't in a relationship or they haven't been sleeping together you know for seven years but they're still married okay and how she's really in love with tupac right and tupac is you know her soulmate, right? This is the things that she said in interviews in order to promote her new book. However, we do have some good news in which, you know, Jada Pinkett Smith, I guess, can feel some humiliation as apparently her book is a massive flop despite her best and most desperate uh, attempts to embarrass her husband, Will Smith, in her pursuit to sell the book. Take a look. Eating my beads for this one. Jada's book ain't selling. I looked high and low. I started looking last week. I said, where this book at? That book is not selling. Jada Pinkett Smith book worthy. Her life, the marriage, the Tupac people was like, she was on the Today Show like a thousand times. This book has bombed this early. Barnes & Noble, their list, <laughs> came in 173. New York Times bestsellers list, number 44. Kindle, it was like 2,700. First off, I kind of figured that it wouldn't do well because y'all told me. Every time I would bring it up, and y'all would do the, Patty, we stick a hand in this. We stick a hand about this book. We tied a hand about this book. But I think that she it, she didn't help 
Because even I was like, oh, I'm tired of this. These Tupac stories. Um, I knew it was in trouble when Will showed up with the family to help promote it in Baltimore. And that wasn't going to help. And I think because at the end of the day, people love Will. And they didn't like how this was all playing out. Should she be able to tell her story? Of course. But do people want to hear it? That's the thing. Do people want to hear it? You know, yes, she's been painted as this villain. But I think people are tired. And when people are tired, what will they do? They will not support the project. Yeah, so you've seen that, you heard that. Okay, people don't want to support what obviously is a book based off humiliating her husband who everybody likes, right? Everybody wants to like Will Smith. I once had respect for Will Smith as a man. He was one of my favorite actors. Um, but his actions in regards to allowing himself to be humiliated by her, uh, yeah, it's kind of turned me off, right? I don't respect him anymore. Again, especially considering how he's, you know, to a certain extent, damaged his own career by slapping Chris Rock on stage in defense of a woman who got her cheeks clapped by another man he wasn't even sleeping in the same bed with and is in love with Tupac, a guy that's dead, right? I'm just saying, if I was, um, you know, Will Smith, maybe, just maybe, I would be clapping cheeks in greener pastures. I'm just saying, right? I'm just saying, he's a celebrity. Uh, I think that... That's what he should have done, right? That's my opinion. But hey, you know, um, all of this embarrassment for Will Smith and apparently Jada Pickett Smith's memoir is a flop. So let, let, let's read here. Jada Pickett Smith's headline making memoir is not selling as many copies as might be expected, despite some eyebrow raising admissions in major interviews ahead of its launch. Pickett Smith released her autobiography, Worthy, on October 17th, but the book is making little impact on multiple bestseller lists. Newsweek has contacted Pickett Smith's representatives via email for comment. On Amazon Books, the world's most popular book-selling site, according to Statista, Worthy sits at number 81 on its bestseller list and at the time of writing had gained only 114 ratings and 64 reviews. It failed to make the top 100 on the Kindle e-reader chart where it had only sold 2,700 copies by the end of the week. Yeah, so again, that don't sound too good, especially considering how this woman was on every single podcast, every single talk show, uh, spilling all types of secrets, right? And embarrassing her husband in all types of ways. But doing all that, resulted in her book flopping right it resulted in her book flopping again it's pretty funny it's pretty hilarious to think about because maybe just maybe maybe just maybe uh when you tell everything that's in the book when you you know let all the secrets out in public what reason is there to actually buy the book right right reason is there to buy the book if we already know the gist of some of the big secrets in the book right i mean the only reason to buy the book is, is to hear you elaborate on the secrets, but you've already basically told us everything that uh, people will be interested in knowing. Again, I think what it goes to show is that she's not as marketable. She's not as talented. She's not as relevant as she believes that she is. Okay, I think that's actually what this shows more than anything. And as you can see here on Amazon, uh, she has a four out of five rating. Uh, but you know, she has some one star reviews, quite a bit of one star reviews, probably because a lot of people are upset with how she marketed the book, which is through humiliating her husband. Let's read one. I tried. I really tried. I wanted to support this black woman and her story, but after 30 pages and I wanted to end the writing was just bad. This disjointed didn't flow. Well, introductions of people in situations without lead in to make it work. She literally seems to be following an outline and trying to weave it together. Maya Angelou, she is not. I wasn't drawn in because I couldn't find her voice in it. She lacks warmth and some of her facts and narratives are vague and doesn't fly. Well, I mean, I'm not surprised that she lacks warmth. I mean, she's a cold-hearted individual. And again, she was trying to sell this book for clout, right? She was trying to sell this book for a quick dollar 
to make herself feel good and make herself feel relevant and make herself feel like she's above her husband, which she's not. I mean, clearly she thinks that she is. She's not. But again, this is a reality check, right? This is a reality check that you are nothing without your husband, right? You are nothing without him, okay? Without him, again, you are probably less than a D-list actor, right? Let's keep it 100. I couldn't uh, recommend this to anyone. It was a painful read, and I only bought it to hear her story, and it just didn't move me. She doesn't have a literary voice and isn't a good writer. She should have asked a much better writer to help her with the storytelling. Yeah, so basically, she can't write. She can't write. Uh, and uh, again, she has quite a few bad reviews, but she has some decent ones. Four stars, not really selling that much. Who would have guessed, right? Who would have guessed? But I want you guys to pick up on the common denominator here, right? Pick up on the common denominator. Cori Bush, uh, the woke progressive member of the socialist squad in Congress, her book flopped. It only sold like a few thousand books in the first week, uh, just like Jada Pickett Smith's book. And then um, Jamel Hill's book, Flop. Again, all these women went on these talk shows, right? Did this media around for free because, you know, you got to help black women with this stuff, okay? And turns out nobody gives a damn about what these woke black women have to say, right? That's the common denominator, right? If I was a woke black woman thinking about writing a book, uh, I would think long and hard about this, right? Because uh, apparently it's like wasting paper, right? It's like wasting paper because nobody cares about what you have to say, okay? Every woke black woman that tries to write a book, it flops. Every woke black woman that tries to start a podcast, nobody <laughs> listens to it, right? I'm just saying, there seems to be a common denominator in regards to the opinions that society cares about. But hey, you know, this is a reality check for Jada Pickett Smith. She's not as relevant as she thought, right? She's not as talented as she thought, and nobody cares about what she has to say as much as she thinks, at least not enough to buy her book. Maybe enough to laugh at her, right, online and to talk about how she's a terrible wife. Maybe enough to do that, but not enough to actually buy her book. It's pretty, uh, it's pretty fascinating stuff. Let me know what you guys think. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Most importantly, share a black and perspective. Peace.